Hi guys and welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to talk about input and output in C Sharp. Here I have created a C Sharp console application. So here we are going to write our code and I'm going to demonstrate how it all works. And before we start, I want to invite you to join my practical programming course where I will teach you how to create real world applications and I will prepare you to start a successful career as a software developer. The course is beginner friendly, so we will go from zero to hero step by step. And here I'm going to put some of the messages from other students who already started and who joined Code Beauty Academy so that you can see the impact that this course has had on their lives. In the course, we will write C Sharp, but I will teach you the skills that you can apply across all of the other programming languages. So you will get career ready skills and expert support. And we also have a community where you can collaborate and connect with other successful developers. And the best part is that everything is on one place. I have created the entire plan for you. And the only thing that you need to do is to follow that plan and you are going to achieve your goals. Currently, we have a special discount and you can use the link in the description to enroll. Try it out for seven days and if you don't like it, you can get a full refund. So you have really nothing to lose, but a lot to gain. For more details, visit the link in the description. So with that being said, let's continue with the topic of this video. So what is input and what is output? Input is any type of data that your program receives from a user or any other external source. For example, if I type the text on the keyboard, that is one form of an input. If your program reads a text file, that is also another type of input. Or if your program downloads some data from the internet and uses that data, that is also a form of input. Uh, also, if your program receives some data from another program and uses that data, that is also another type of input. And for beginners, the most common type of input is keyboard input. And that is what we are going to learn and demonstrate in this video. On the other hand, output is any data that your program writes for the user to see. For example, that can be a message that you want to show to your user, that can be a result of certain calculation, or any other information that you want to show to your user. All those are outputs. And in this video, we are going to learn how we can work with both input and output. So let's say that we want to create a small program that asks the user to input his name. So when the user inputs his name, for example, David, the program says, hello, David, welcome to the program. So that is what we are going to do now. Let's create that program. So first we want to write some text into the console. And for that, we use this command here, console.writeline. And then here under these double quotation marks, we put the text that we want to write into the console. So here I will say, enter your name like this. And please don't forget this semicolon at the end. That is very important. Okay, so after we have done this, we expect our user to type his name. So I am going to say console.readline, okay? And this command is used in order to read the input, the text that user is typing. So what am I going to do with this text? I am going to store it in a variable. So I expect my user to enter his name. So what I will do is I will create a variable of type string. I will call it name. And to this variable, I'm going to assign any text that the user writes. Okay, so after I have asked my user to enter his name and the user has entered his name, I will have his name inside this variable here. So then what I can do is, again, I can say console.writeline. And here I will say, hello. And what I want to print is the name of my user like this. And then I want to add some additional text. So I will say, hello, and then the name. And here I will say, Welcome to the program like this. Okay, so let's start this app. Okay, first it says enter your name. So let's type my name. My name is Saldina. Okay, and if I press enter, as you can see here, it says, hello, Saldina, welcome to the program. Okay, so this is one simple program that we have just created. 
Now let's create another program because I want to show you some very important things that you need to have in mind when you are working with numbers and when you are entering numbers in your program. So what I would like to create is a program that asks the user to enter first number, to enter second number, and then the program is going to sum those two and the program is going to print the result of that calculation. So here I would like to invite you to pause the video and try to write your own solution and then you can watch my solution and we can do it together. So if you want to create this on your own, please pause the video here and now we are going to do it together. So let's delete this code here. We don't need it and I will leave this line. So as I said, I want to ask my user to enter two numbers. Let's do that part first. Here I will say x, so please enter the value for x. Okay, and what I want to do is I want to create a variable called x and into this variable I will say console.readLine, so whatever the user enters, I will store that inside this variable. Something very important that you should notice here is that immediately we get this red squiggly, which means that we have an error. And the error says, cannot implicitly convert type string to int. So why are we getting this error? The reason for this error is that whatever your user is typing on the keyboard, any input that he enters, whether it is a number or a text, that will be treated as a string. But because we are trying to store that inside an integer variable, you cannot store a string into an integer variable. So what you need to do is, if you know, if you expect your user to enter an integer, here you need to convert this string into an integer. So here I'm going to say int.parse and inside parentheses, I will put this console read line command. So here I'm saying, hey, read line, read whatever the user has typed and then parse that into an integer and store it inside this x variable. So with this, we will get our first number. Now let's ask the user to enter the second number and let's do the same thing for the second number. So here I will say y and here I will create y variable and again I'm going to read the input that my user has typed and I will convert that into an integer and store it into this variable here. So now I can simply say int sum and I can sum x plus y and I will print the result. So let's copy this command console.writeline. What do I want to print? I want to print x plus y is equal to and then here I will add sum like this. Okay, so let's start the program and test this. Okay, it says please enter x, I will say 6 and then enter y, I will say 4. Okay, so the result is here x plus y is equal to 10. There is an improvement that we can make to our program and that is the fact that currently our program is working with integer numbers, which means that if the user tries to enter decimal point number, then we are going to get an error. So let's demonstrate that. Let me start the application again. And here I will say, for example, 7.4. And immediately, as you can see, the input string was 7.4 and it was not in correct format, which means that it cannot store this decimal point number into an integer variable. So in order to solve this problem, what you can do is instead of creating integer variables and parsing into an integer, you can use double. So here I will say double please create a variable called x and it will be of type double. And here I will parse into double and then I will do the same thing for y. So then naturally sum also needs to be of type double. And now our program can work with decimal numbers as well. So let's start this and let's test again. Okay, so again, I will say 7.4 and then it asks for the second number. So let's say 2.1 and the result is 9.5. Okay, and if you are not familiar with different data types and difference between integers, double strings, and so on, then I recommend you to watch this video. It will be also linked in the description, and there you are going to learn about all of the important data types that we have in C-sharp and in programming in general.
there is another potential error that we can get in this program, and that is if the user tries to enter text instead of a number. So let's demonstrate that. I will stop the program and start it again. Okay, so here if I try to enter some text instead of a number, let's say test, and I press enter, as you can see, immediately it says the input string test was not in correct format. So the reason why we are getting this error is because our program expects a number, but instead it is getting text, so it does not know how to work with text and how to store text inside double variable. There are different ways to solve this problem and to prevent this from happening, and we are going to learn more about that in one of my future videos, so make sure to subscribe and also click the bell icon so you will get notification when I publish that video. I believe that is going to be enough for this video, and again, I would like to remind you that I have a practical programming course where I teach you how to create real-world applications, and I help you to get a job as a software developer and start a successful career. So currently we have a special discount, so don't miss this opportunity, and if you want to learn programming, click the link in the description and you are going to find more details. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up, and I will see you in some other video. Bye!